All right, so lesson 73 is on exponents and writing decimal numbers as fractions, part two. So here we have three to the fourth power and four to the third power, and it wants to know which one is greater. So let's first figure out what those are. So three to the fourth power is the same as three times three times three times three. Remember, do not do three times four, that's wrong. We need to multiply three by itself four times. So 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times 3 is 9, so we're going to multiply those together, and we get 81. So 3 to the 4th power is equal to 81. Now let's do 4 cubed, which is 4 times 4 times 4. Well, 4 times 4 is 16, and times that by 4. So 16 times 4. 4 times 6 is 24, carry the 2. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. So 4 cubed is the same as 64. So we know that 3, fourths is greater, 3 to the 4th power is greater than 4 to the 3rd power. Okay, here we have to write the prime factorization of 1,000 using exponents to group factors. So I'm going to first find out what the prime factorization is by taking 1,000 and doing a factor tree. So 1,000 is equal to 100 times 10. 10 I can break up into 5 and 2. Those are prime numbers. 100 I can break up into 10 and 10, which in turn I can break up into 5 and 2. So my prime factorization is 5 times 5 times 5 times 2 times 2 times 2. So once we write these using exponents to group these factors, so the numbers that are the same, I can use an exponent to group those numbers. Okay, So if to group those, I would do 5 to the third power, because I have three fives. And then I would times that by 2 to the third power, because I have three twos. And that would be my answer. Okay, Both of these are correct. But it, when it wants you to group it by exponents, you need to do the second. You need to do this one. Okay. All right, and this last one for exponents, we have 100 minus 10 squared. So when you're doing problems like this, you're going to first do the exponent. Okay. So let's do that exponent. So 100 stays the same, subtraction stays the same, and my 10 squared is actually equal to 100. 10 times 10 is 100. So I have 100 minus 100, which is equal to 0, and that's my answer. And now we're going to work with writing fractions as decimals, or decimals as fractions. Okay. So we have to write, write 0 0.5 as a common factor. Well, when we have 0 0.5, we need to look at what place value my 5 is in. Now my 5 is in the tenths place value. So I know this is the same as 5 tenths, okay? which then would reduce down to 1 half. And that's my answer. Okay? On this one, we have 3.75 as a mixed number. 3.75. Well, we know that the 3 is a whole number. So I know I'm going to have 3 and then some fraction. So then we look at my fraction. We have 75, and the 5, you look at the last number to know what place value it's in. So it's 75 hundredths, because this is the hundredths place value. So it's 75 hundredths, which we need to reduce. 75 hundredths, we reduce down to 3 fourths. So 3.75 3 is the same as 3 and 3 fourths. Okay, and that's it. Good luck on your homework.